when you harbor unforgiveness that hurts you and that hurts your children. Today, we are talking all things single mom. I don't know if you guys know, but I am a single mom of two. I have a boy and a girl. My daughter is 11 years old and my boy is four years old. I'm a full-time mom running a full-time business. So sometimes I know it can be overwhelming, it can be tiring, it can be all these things I know. But here are some things that I have learned in my journey of being a single mom and actually trying to be a better person. You know, we struggle a lot when it comes to juggling kids, work and still self-care and everything like that, of which it's very important so that you do not deny your children the best version of yourself, you know? So I've listed at least six things that we need to deal with that I have dealt with when I'm, I was in this journey of discovering who am I and figuring out how am I going to do this um, single mom thing and because I, I had a first child at a very very young age where I in most of my life where I'm like okay now I, I earn a little bit money I had already had a, a child who was reliant on me you know so there had to be a lot of um, a lot of, of adjustments made years later so the first thing I want you to note is you know what forgive yourself forgive yourself forgive yourself for that bad decision that you made with in that relationship forgive yourself for whatever reason that caused you to leave that relationship or the, whatever reason that made you to be in that relationship or whatever reason that made you that got you to a point where you fell pregnant forgive yourself forgive yourself first and then forgive the other person you know if you forgive the other person it also helps you as a human being because when you harbor unforgiveness that hurts you and that hurts your children so your children suffer for what they did not do because the honest truth is they didn't ask to be here and you are their primarily primary caregiver so you are their mother so what happened happened you need to forgive yourself so that you'll be able to move because if you don't forgive yourself you won't be able to move and you will regret each and every day of your life you'll be living in, in regret and you'll be looking at your children and you will see the person let me just say it like that and that is not good that is not right because there'll be anger that you'll end up being but you will end up uh, projecting to your children which they don't deserve it the second one is ask for help I struggled a lot with that because you know you know when you do some things you feel like uh, people will say it's not their problem that I decided to have ch children it was my choice so now why does it feel like it needs to be their burden but to be honest with you there are people who are more than willing to help you out there out there there are people who are love you who love your children ask for help ask for help if you need to, to, to do something you need to go to work you're late for work if there's that neighbor who you trust and you know that she always passes here ask help from that neighbor because you will not be able to do it ask help from family members they are there which leads me to the third point actually take care of yourself like take care of yourself take care of yourself if you need to go out take a break please do that if you take care of yourself then you become a best the best version of yourself then the, your, your your children get the best version of you so if you look after yourself figure out things i i lost myself in my relationship so much that when i got out i didn't know what i like i didn't know what i want to do i didn't i didn't understand myself i would literally wait for approval from people for the slightest things i would want somebody to approve of it because that's that's how i was i remember the first time my, my friend took out took me out for dinner i felt like i was committing a crime <laughs> it felt like it was illegal it felt like why am i outside so late why am i here so it is very important go out look for that clothing that you like dress up look pretty figure out what you like figure out what you've missed find out what you like because if you look after yourself and you find out what you like then you do more things of the things that make you happy and then if you are happy you come back home there is so much joy in your house that you will be so fulfilled with just being with your kids and your kids will look forward to coming to find to, to coming home and finding mom home or wait for you in anticipation be like mommy is coming home i know as children grow sometimes it becomes difficult or it becomes different teenagers be like mom i don't want you and all that but open that door to say 
I am healed and I would like to, to raise children who are healed. Open the door and say, I'm here, you know, just try to be there. I play a lot with my kids. I, I try to spend as much time doing the things that they like with them because I realize that these, these the constant chase of everything else that makes people happy, that makes other people happy doesn't work. What matters is the people who are close to you most. The time you spend with your children works, it helps a lot. It, it, it really does a whole difference. Like it holds different. Now I just said my my, 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 my other point because now the other point was be present for your kids. But then I just dis- explained it right now. It's because I feel like sometimes we move out of relationships and then we want to get into another relationship without actually realizing that you have you have in your process of healing, your children are also in the process of healing. They also need to heal. They also need you to more than ever then because now they they have to adapt to this new life of not having a male figure in the house. They have to adapt to this new life that mom is all we have. We have to ask mom for everything. We have to run to mom for everything. And they don't know how to do it because they are not used to it. So be e- be kind to your children. Like and take it easy for yourself. Take it easy. Spend as much time with them as possible here's another thing also you have a full-time job you get home you are tired you probably want to cook something quick for them to eat and then go to bed it's we know it's normal it's it's, it's, our lives are busy now it's not like with the stone age where our parents used to be home and you know the mom is always home the dad goes to work come back there's time for them we know our life is very busy but at least dedicate a day if you don't have get time during the week dedicate a day where you can just be there for your kids the entire day or check up on them if you get home while you cook help me cook or just make sure that when you are busy cooking they are there with you they are present with you ask them questions and uh, talk to them about stuff like how was your day what would you like to have this weekend what do you are the things that you want us to do it doesn't have to be financial things you can say do you want us to take a walk uh, over the weekend just be present make sure that your busy schedule does not pull your children away from you you know because work they can replace you at work at any time but your kids come first your kids come first another thing find the things that you like figure you probably have lost yourself so much in the past years that you don't know the, the core things that your, your core beliefs what you like who you are those are the important things because I, I started asking myself who am I I found that all the things that I thought I liked they don't really things that I like I just did them because the people around me liked them I used to I used to drink a lot of alcohol it's not like I liked it I just did it because a lot of people were doing it and the moment I I, I started being, uh, finding uh, how, who am I figure, asking myself figuring out what do I like I realized I don't like that I have other ways to have fun I realized I like traveling <laughs> I like traveling I like going to seeing places it doesn't have to be outside of the country of which I would love to do that I haven't done that but it's still one of the goals but locally I like exploring. I like exploring restaurants. Like, it's so funny. I like going to random restaurants and just sitting and eating or drinking, having coffee, doing something. And that is who I am. I never knew that in the past, I don't know how many years. Another thing, involve God in all these things that you do. Involve God in your kids' health, involve God God in your kids' studies, involve God in your school, in your, your workplace, involve God in everything else that you do pray to god about everything you know i also uh, something i realized a couple of days ago is that we 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 often talk about the secret place and having time with god and everything and then somebody pictures that as a closed door uh, like a physical door to close yourself in the room sometimes as a mom that is very hard to have like it's very hard to to get those moments where you literally just alone unless the kids are sleeping and sometimes in that moment, you are very tired. You just want to sleep. Use the time you're doing the dishes as well. If the kids are not home, use that time to converse, conversate with God. Use the times where you are on your way to work. Whether you're in your car or in a public transport, you don't have to be loud. Just use those opportunities to speak with God. Uh, read a Bible, a scripture. Meditate on the scripture on your, when you're showering. Like... I feel like sometimes we overthink the, the spending time with God. We think that 
it has to be a physical place we'll talk about a lot of things <laughs> i'll probably do more of these um mom talks because i feel like at this age 29 by the way people who find themselves in in this situation it's very hard it's not an easy journey you feel like you're very young and there's a lot more things that you want to do but there's no time or there's a lot that people are saying out there about you that you you feel like you're not worthy of certain things but the, that's where the importance of finding yourself finding your identity finding out what you like finding out who you are helps it when you go out there somebody's opinion about you does not matter it does not move you it does not take away from you if somebody says something about you or your kids or your decisions it does not take away from you because you've al you're already content with who you are you already know who you are so nothing somebody else says will move you away from where you are or who you are and also that is why we need god in everything that we do because he is the one who will I, I, I personally I always go back and be like God who did you say I am again and then I go to the scriptures find out who God said I am because the situation that I am in right now is because he allowed it into my life he allowed me to have these two kids believe me if it wasn't God's will it wouldn't have happened I would have been talking about all the things that I've done but not talking about kids so if ever I have these kids right now, that means God knew that I had to have these kids. God has a reason why these kids had to be born in those days that we were born in. So before you, you trap yourself feel, feeling guilty and all that, remember that God's plan about your life uh, is, is prevail, will prevail. What you have or who you are right now, God allowed it. Forgive yourself because God has already forgiven you. Don't hold yourself captive. Don't hold yourself highly more than you need to be because if you don't forgive yourself while God had already forgiven you, are you what are you saying? Are you saying your standards are way higher than God's standards? Anyway, <laughs> please like, subscribe, <laughs> join the community. Let's grow together. I love you.